You know the drill. 99 out of 100 times, moving to privacy respecting and FOSS tools generally leads to a negative hit. Quality, convenience, other user experience issues, or sometimes all of the above. It's really hard to match the user experience offered by major tech companies developing some of the most advanced software in the world. But there are some exceptions. Today, we put together five FOSS and privacy respecting services that we feel match or beat their mainstream competitors. These are loosely sorted by our favorites, but don't take the ordering too seriously. These are all tools at the top of their game. Brave is a Chromium-based browser promising privacy. It out of the box collects the least amount of telemetry data of any major browser. They implement great privacy and security protections against third-party sites, and they do so in a way that doesn't make you unique on the internet through fingerprinting. Like a hardened Firefox. The real reason Brave is on this list though is it offers a near identical experience to Chrome, as it's based on Chromium, the open source engine of Chrome, and anyone who uses Chrome will likely not feel weird using Brave. They even claim you can switch over and import everything from Chrome in under 60 seconds with ad blocking and a tracking protection built in, all open source, and with less data collection than Chrome. Chrome dominates the market, yet this browser beats it on almost all fronts. We've covered Brave more thoroughly in its own review, as well as some of the issues with Brave in a couple other videos, because it is not perfect. Our next service is Signal, the secure messaging platform, which also has video and voice calling. On Android, Signal can replace your SMS application, and it's also where you communicate with other Signal users. Just like how the iOS Messages app uses blue and green bubbles, Signal has SMS and Signal. Beyond messaging, Signal has GIFs, stickers, location and contact sharing, and especially audio and video calling. What's great is this is cross-platform. iOS users can communicate with Android users, who can also communicate with their computers. It's a cross-platform iMessage slash FaceTime style ecosystem that anyone can use. The only thing missing is SMS support on iOS, and that's just an Apple restriction for all messengers, but you can still use Signal for just Signal messages on iOS. Service number three is Bitwarden, a fantastic password manager. Bitwarden allows you to switch from something like LastPass within minutes, and this is all done in a FOSS, privacy respecting and secure environment. Bitwarden has cross-device syncing that you could even self-host yourself if you really wanted to for full control. And it's overall an extremely polished client that likely offers just as much, if not more functionality than most of its alternatives on the market. It really is one of the best password managers that doesn't let the fact that it's open source hold it back. We covered Bitwarden in a recent comparison video to KeePass, another fantastic password manager I recommend looking into. Number two is a collection of operating systems that we personally felt had some major perks over their counterparts. Linux as a whole may not quite offer the simplicity and user experience of Windows and Mac OS, but Linux has some traits that are second to none. In most distros, everything is free, open, not filled with bloatware, doesn't install Candy Crush Saga, is lightweight, allows you to update all of your programs with a single command thanks to its repo management, and it gives you a plethora of customization options for users to make their system theirs. In this day and age, there's also a lot of software compatibility and projects designed to make macOS and Windows exclusive software sometimes work on Linux. If it doesn't, Linux has KVM, which allows for fantastic virtualization of macOS and Windows. Or you could always dual boot and still use Linux as a main OS and use another OS for your exclusive needs. My favorite Linux distro overall is Fedora, though almost all Linux distributions are a good choice. In the mobile space, Calyx OS and Lineage OS with MicroG are going to offer a truly FOSS mobile experience. Both of these ROMs are almost surely going to be lighter and less bloated than the original OS that came with your phone, and MicroG allows for most things to work just as they would with Google Play services. Now, not everything will, but for most people, they're likely going to see more benefits from using a less cluttered ROM that doesn't invade their privacy and is easier on phone performance and battery than losing out on a few apps. We actually manage a project called Plexus that crowdsources what apps do and don't work with MicroG as well as a fully D Google phone. So check that out if you're curious. I also made a video recapping the project. The top service of our list, something that just blows it all out of the water is OnionShare. Sharing any file over 25 megabytes on the internet is typically a hassle since web hosting isn't cheap and those who are willing to host data for free are likely profiting from it in other ways. 
Firefox Send was the previous go-to for many people, but it was recently shut down. Thankfully, Onion Share is always there for you by allowing you to upload and share any file of any size, all entirely for free, completely open source, and no third-party involvement. How in the world? Well, OnionShare requires the anonymity network Tor to use, and it's peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning it's just you and the other person accessing the file. When you upload a file using OnionShare, you're essentially hosting it for that person, and the other person is directly downloading it from you. And thanks to Tor, it's all private and secure. It's also simple too though, if you have Brave on your computer and you're not needing maximum anonymity, just open a Tor window, have the person who wants to share a file with you send you the download link, and just download the file from Brave like a normal download. If you want more anonymity for the download, just get the Tor browser bundle and do the same exact thing. OnionShare is just totally awesome, and it's one of those tools that I haven't seen anyone beat yet or even come close to it. So go OnionShare, keep it up. And that, my friends, was our list of the five top services we felt beat their mainstream counterparts. Which of these is your favorite, or is your favorite not even on this list and we totally missed it? Let us know down in the comments to tell everyone your favorite FOSS and privacy respecting services. If you liked this video, I ask you to show how much you liked it by hitting the like button, that's what it's for, and sharing it to your friends and family who may be stuck on Chrome or WhatsApp or anything else that something on this list may beat. I also wanna thank all of our patrons, they're amazing for helping us, and you can join too for some exclusive perks in our community community while giving back to our mission to spread privacy. That's it for today. See you all next time on TechLore.